come the stars, come to shine when it's dark From so far away, show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep every night And what's it dreaming of? I wonder Hey you guys, it's Dana. Welcome back to Decorate with Dana. Welcome to another cozy fall decorating video. Today we are working in the master bedroom. So I believe the title of this video is probably going to be called Cozy Master Bedroom Fall Decorate with Me and Makeover because, or fall makeover or something like that. I don't know, whatever I titled this video, that's what it's going to be. But somewhere we're gonna call it a makeover because we are including a nice little sitting area in this room. It's such a large bedroom and where the bed is as opposed to the TV, they're on opposite sides of the room. So when you are in bed, I can barely see the TV. I can't make out if there's words or anything else. Granted, I don't have the best distance vision, but it's really not that bad. And I can't, I can't see it. It's just too much of a struggle to watch TV. So we have all this extra space. So we decided to make a cute little cozy sitting area in here. We have the fireplace TV console, so it already gives it that cozy feel. So then adding in this little seating area, I think will be perfect, especially for the fall and winter when it's 8 p.m. and we're exhausted, but yet we wanna just get ready for bed where it's too early to go to bed, but we wanna watch a movie or something. So then we're already up in our room, we're ready for bed, but we can like cozy up in this little seating area, watch TV, and then just go to bed when we're ready. So I'm excited to share this area with you. I was gifted some beautiful furniture from Settle In Furniture, and so I'm excited to share that with you. I think that you guys will absolutely love it. The quality is impeccable. So I will get to sharing that with you here very soon. But first we're going to get decorating the bed area, the nightstands and the um, dresser. Very simple. I don't want to go all out. I want to keep it pretty neutral in here, but still having some of that pops of fall colors to really cozy up the space for when the weather starts to really get cool, which is not today because it's like 95, but it's going to get cool very soon and I can't wait, honestly. But anyways, so we're gonna get decorating that and then I will share with you this beautiful furniture and we'll make this cute little seating area here. So if you are new, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and follow me over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. Without further ado, let's get decorating. So I was at Hobby Lobby, they have this picture. I found it in the clearance section for $5.99. I think it is perfect for fall. This actually might be a piece of fall decor, I'm not sure. The reason it was in clearance is that it is cracked right here and it has a little chip out of the side. So I'm going to try to use wood glue to get that together. And then I have like a dark brown Sharpie and I probably can touch that up. And then this hanging on the wall, you probably never even notice it. Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside it really makes me wonder okay so i just put a little vice grip here to hold it in place give that a little while to dry and then i'll just fill in this and hopefully we'll be good to go So we're going to start over here on my bed. I had already put the sheets and the top blanket on. So if you've watched my last video, I did get this floral sheet set from Target and I love using this sheet as a kind of a top sheet that I can put on because my dog likes to jump up on the bed. So it keeps the the blankets and everything free of her dog hair and gives her a place to sleep. Plus, I love the design of these prints. And then I found this coverlet at Target. I believe it is a hearth and hand coverlet. And I just wanted to layer that at the bottom for a nice cozy effect. And then I have just a couple of throw pillows 
mostly ones that I've already had that are in a nice neutral brown color and add those to the bed and just keep it really simple it's still quite hot out so we're not ready for our super thick blankets yet so I think this is like kind of a perfect transition especially we can just pull that cover let up on the nights that it does get cooler and it will keep us warm enough so now this print is all dry it came out perfect no issues it dried nice and strong so I hung it over here on the side and then I'm just going to take this dark brown sharpie and fill in that little spot and yeah when you're up close you can see it but nobody would ever see it if I didn't point it out to them So now moving over to the dresser, I have the Seated Woman print that came from Target. I think it was in early spring or late winter. And I had that crock from Hobby Lobby and I added some Amazon florals, but I end up changing those out because they just were a little too pink for me. I'll, you'll see that here in a minute. Otherwise, I'm just taking this woven box and adding a couple of these antique inspired candlesticks and then this black ceramic pumpkin. So I decided, like I said, to change these florals out. They were just a little bit too pink colored for me. So I have these faux hops stems that came from Target a couple years ago. Just added them in there and then I do add just a amber acorn there in the corner and that would be it for the dresser. Again, keeping it really simple. So now for my side table, I took this gingham print check lampshade that I had down in my kitchen. I took it out when I decorated for fall. If you didn't see that video, I will link it here up above. But I added that to my nightstand and then this little crock came from Target or Planter a couple years ago. I love it, it's beautifully textured. I have two of them. So I added those to each of the nightstands with just some greenery. This is my husband's side. He's gonna take it off. I'm gonna tell you right now, he doesn't like anything on his nightstand decor wise, which is fine, but for the sake of the video, I wanted it to somewhat match. Okay, so I wanted to share with you this beautiful furniture that was gifted to me from Settle In Furniture, and I want to thank them for collaborating with me on today's video. Settle In provides high quality, high style, modern furniture. Their slogan is My Crib, My Style. They have products for both indoor and outdoor use and are customized to meet the consumer's needs. They use high quality materials and, ex and have excellent service. The products I received are the white bread barrel chair. It's a super soft lamb's wool material. It is extremely comfortable and plush. It's perfect for lounging while cozied up with a good book. I also received the modern white cloud lamb's wool sofa with a walnut base. The amazing quality and design of this sofa would be perfect in any style home. The soft lamb's wool material is the perfect spot to cozy up and watch a movie. My family and I have already enjoyed a couple of movie nights while snuggled up on this cozy sofa. And the last product I received was the two-tiered wood side table. I love the two-tiered Scandinavian minimalist design. It looks amazing next to the chair as a beautiful accent table. It's a perfect spot for a small table lamp or holding your coffee while you're enjoying a good book. I knew when I was making a seating area in my bedroom, I was looking for a cozy, minimal design, and I think this furniture is perfect for this space. The sofa and chair, they come with removable cushions for the back, making it very comfortable to relax. I will have all of the products linked down below and use my code DANA10 to get 10% off of all the products. So thank you again to Settle In for sending me this beautiful furniture. So let's continue to decorate this space together. 
Okay, so I know I wanted to add a beautiful rug to kind of bring everything together and to ground the space to make it feel like its own designated seating area. So I found this rug at Walmart and it was it is probably the nicest rug I have in my house. It is so plush and so soft. The colors are absolutely perfect. So they have the whites, creams, grays, and browns. So it ties in all neutral colors. So, so beautiful. So I also, so I just wanted to add that in. And then just so you know, I am using those sliders that I put under the legs of the furniture. It makes it so easy to move everything around because I will tell you, this is super high quality, extremely heavy furniture. So um, those sliders are a must have for me. So I'm going to have them linked down below just in case you're interested. But once I got everything into place, I then wanted to go ahead and start to decorate. I will say we were initially going to put this furniture down in our basement because we are finishing off the family room down there. It may end up down there, but I honestly love it. I thought it was going to feel too crowded and too big in here, and I don't think so at all. To me, it feels perfect and cozy. So I used to have a floor lamp here by the chair, but I couldn't put a floor lamp, or not lamp, I'm sorry, mirror but I couldn't put a floor mirror there. So I did get this mirror from Target. I've had it for a long time. Decided to hang that behind the chair so you can still use it as a mirror and see most of yourself in it. And then I had these two Ottomans from Target. They match perfectly with the furniture. So they really make a cute little place to put your feet up or you could put a small tray on there and put drinks and stuff on. So I love it. I also love the wood of the furniture legs matches perfectly with the wood of my bedroom, but the white furniture really pops and brightens up this room because the furniture in this room is so dark. So I just added a couple throw blankets and simple pillows to the couch and the chair. And then I'm adding this antique crock and I have these stems that were from Hobby Lobby last year. And that's all I added right there. I was gonna add a lamp, but I don't know. For now, I decided not to. We'll see, I may put one in eventually. But just wanted to add those little pops of fall colors right here. And then for the fireplace, Auto, uh, console table I just wanted to add a candle that's it underneath I have the wood tic-tac-toe board and the antique backgammon set but otherwise I just wanted to keep a candle here I just like it simple I don't like too much decor all over so especially in the bedroom when I'm trying to relax I don't want to feel cluttered Okay, you guys, here is how the bedroom turned out. I just, I, I really love it. I mean, to some people, this might be too much. To us, this is perfect. I mean, honestly, there's still so much room because I like to do like Pilates and stuff in here too. There's still so much room to be able to do that. But yet there's this nice little cozy seating area. I just love it. So coming over here, this fireplace TV console came from Amazon. I think we got it last year or maybe the year before. We love it. We use it so much all fall and winter when it starts to get cooler out. It heats this room up amazing. So I wanted to keep this super simple. So I just added this little um, stand. I think it was from like the spring shop at Hobby Lobby. I think I got it last year. I think they have it every year though. This little candle ring wreath came from Amazon. It is in the fall decor. And then this is just my Sweetwater Decor Pumpkin Spice Candle and I love it. That's all I wanted to put up here. I just don't like it too crowded. So coming over here, this beautiful table is from Settlin. It was also gifted to me. 
I just added this antique crock with these stems that I did get last year from Hobby Lobby, but I do think that they still have them. The furniture I kept very simple. I just added a throw blanket and then this little gingham print check pillow was actually I think from the spring shot or from the spring line at Threshold at Target. I just think it looks so cute and it's nice and neutral. And then this little throw blanket is also from Target. These two little stools are from Target also. They match perfectly with this couch, so that's awesome. So our little picture over here turned out stunning. I mean, you hardly can tell. If you're right up to it, you could tell that there was a little crack in the frame, but I don't think anybody would ever notice and the colors tie in perfectly with what I did with the rest of the room. My husband's side just has a little plant there. You know, again, it's gonna come off. He won't keep it there. Those two pictures above the bed, I didn't change out because I think they're actually perfect and they're nice and fall looking. And then the bed, I kept very simple, layered. This um, coverlet came from Hearth and Hand. That was this year. And then pretty much everything else I have had. And then on my little side table, I added that gingham print or gingham shade lamp, and then the same kind of greenery that's on my husband's side. Of course, we have Kova's bed right here next to me. And then this, I did the seated woman picture. I love that, that was from Target in the spring shot, or in the spring line. And then this crock is from Amazon with these stems are a couple years old from Target. And just this little amber acorn here. And then on this side, I have this box I don't remember if this is from Target or Amazon. And then um, just a ceramic pumpkin. And then these two vintage inspired candle holders are from Amazon. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you a little bit of cozy fall decorating for your bedroom. Again, if you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.